everyone, and welcome to Negative Destiny 2 video number 1229. The video, yes, because I'm pretty sure you have seen quite a few, um, that's probably an understatement, of videos of people sharing their thoughts about Destiny 2, the state of Destiny 2, and how morale is very low, and just a lot of negativity towards Destiny 2 and Bungie. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be talking about those things. Hooray! It's not gonna be a very positive video, so warnings at a time. I'm playing at the same time. I'm playing my, uh, my hunter, but basically a titan because of the build that I'm running. It feels like I'm a titan. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and play and talk about this at the same time. But, yes, uh, morale's very low, and a lot of people have been asking me what my thoughts are on Destiny 2 right now. I've talked about a lot of this on on stream uh but i know that i don't really do a lot of chibi hours as of late uh i used to do like tons of them uh here and there and uh, yeah i've i've been seeing some comments of a lot of you asking me uh what what are my thoughts like am i still gonna be playing destiny am i gonna quit am i gonna take a break what's going on I'm, oh my god panic uh, for starters, no, I'm not quitting Destiny. Uh, I still have enjoyment inside of Destiny, uh, but I do take breaks. If you see me on stream, I'll play like a bit of Destiny and most likely switch to other games, uh, or I will focus a day on just playing something else. That's just the healthiest route that I can do for my mental health, so then I don't lose my mind inside of destiny because yeah there's uh, i can't believe i missed that there's a lot of things that are just not not good in destiny and i i've shared these thoughts before but i'll talk about them again in here but yeah morale is just very low uh bungie has been dealing with a lot of server issues which they've uh explained in the recent uh twid is it called now um and uh, a lot of words that people don't understand, but I'm glad that they actually were transparent about that and talked about the things going on in the background when it comes to the servers, because yes, the servers have been very bad. It still sucks that we don't have dedicated servers, though, and that will still be a giant sting of an announcement with Marathon is hearing that we are not getting dedicated servers in destiny but rather in marathon i mean there could be dedicated servers in destiny if there's a destiny 3 or maybe after final shape who knows or during final shape we'll have to see what they say during uh, august when they talk more about final shape uh, i'm still hopeful <laughs> about final shape i really am um but yeah, the story, even the story has been very mixed. Uh, I am very excited about next season, though, because of the... Um, did you just consume... I put the pole on the ghost, and they consumed the... They crunched the ghost, so they crunched my pole and... What the flip? <laughs> um... Yeah, the story, like, Lightfall story was just not as good compared to Witch Queen... Uh, this season has had some cool stuff in story, like the Witness Origins, which would be awesome, but the problem is, is that those are things that probably should have been explained in Lightfall, and it wasn't, it just was poor timing, and the most recent, which I won't spoil it, if you haven't seen the, the new story, I am super hyped uh, for next season for obvious reasons because of what was shown off in the recent um, uh, the story weekly story uh, for the quest and I I'm very excited very 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 excited I'm so excited I've, I've been talking about how the possibility of this but I I also am cautiously excited because uh, I hope that they do better on the writing and and do this one justice hopefully we'll see but yeah story uh uh gameplay eh, yeah I mean Lightfall came out and we did get a new raid with mixed opinions I I enjoy it I I enjoyed uh, what it was in and stuff um there are certain areas that was not enjoyable especially the master raid which is just a joke um and we did get one new strike quote unquote and the strike is fun but it was part of the story technically which i don't really have much issues with but one strike 
array for another year. Um, and then no PvP content, no Gambit content. Yeah, it was... Yeah. And then we did get a new dungeon this season, and I am enjoying it. But when it comes to without the dungeon, a lot of the content is just kind of eh. Deep Dive is fun, but the rewards are just not worth it. And Salvage is okay. It's just another Battleground gimmick for a season, which I'm just kind of exhausted on uh, at this point. I would much rather them focus on something for the core playlists. Like, maybe add in a firefight-esque kind of mode. If you don't know what firefight is from, like, Halo, it was, like, a survival mode. Think think kind of deep dive, where it gets more difficult um, as you go further with the Tolan mechanic. Um, also, I hate the strike so much. <laughs> um, but where you're stuck in one open big area where you can resupply weapons and ammos and stuff like that, uh, which, I mean, deep dive... It, it, it could just be deep dive, like, just keep going further. It doesn't have to be, like, just one area, but just something to evolve with the seasons where it could be to the core playlist instead of this battleground gimmick. It's so... Just, I don't know. I'm just getting fatigued on it. And I know the reason why they do it, and this is why a lot of people are getting really bothered with um, Destiny and worried with uh, Bungie and including myself, is... They're way too focused on revenue more than anything else. Uh, it's pretty much been proven with that, especially with their PowerPoint, uh, where they even said that engagement, no matter if it's positive or negative, is good. So even if we're not liking the game, if there are people playing it, they pretty much don't care, uh, it seems. Of the way that they wrote it just doesn't seem right, and that's where I was the most disappointed on with, with that when they when that powerpoint was uh uh brought to the public um but yeah they they basically said that revenue would be the like it's like the 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 the, the final like stage in the grand master of plans you know getting the the players uh, trust again and and getting them uh, into the game and then you do revenue and it just feels like revenue has been stuck there majority of the time uh i don't and like all the revenue that they're getting i just don't see the return value other than like that the revenue has been more lines focused for marathon and but that's the thing it's like when you when you play destiny and you invest into destiny you would think that those things that you invest in destiny would go to destiny <laughs> And yeah, it's not, it doesn't feel like that. Like I said, the core playlist is just, they're it's just not existent on content. And people say, well, the game's free to play. It is not free to play. I feel like the, the free to play model that they have is probably the most manipulative system I've ever seen because they can treat the game like it's free to play, but it's really not. Like there's so much to the game where you have to pay. And a lot of the stuff that we pay for feels overpriced. Like, it, it's it's almost like we're paying for the free-to-play free experience. Like, I mean, we get patrol areas that are free for all players, but uh, the expansion pass is like $100, which it's like well, for the digital deluxe, which gives you the dungeon keys for uh, future seasons and gives you the seasons that have meh amounts of content and yeah you get one story one patrol area the patrol area like i said is free and one raid and you got the subclasses i guess but i don't know if those are free but that's where i'm always confused <laughs> but it's definitely not free to play and yet the core playlists get ignored because it's well it's free to play but it's not they make so much revenue from many many areas especially in events and events are just so fatiguing because and i guarantee when solstice comes back it's gonna have one new weapon and we're gonna have the same activity as in we're not gonna get a new aerial zone which i've been saying that i wish that we would get a new aerial zone and we haven't and we're going to have like a lot of microtransactions that's it um, yeah, not, not excited about the, the event, 
as much. I mean, I am, but I'm not because I just wish that there would be new things to experience. The game part to be exciting. Like it, it the the event is just here's microtransactions essentially. Um, but yeah, they they have those, and there's I just don't see the return value on those profits into the game. And they even said that themselves. That's that's the thing. They said even like with the events, they were they were talking about how like the events would fund for the next season. Really? You made like just enough money from last year's Festival of Lost. I mean like last last year's Festival of Lost to only add one new weapon and one Lost Sector with decorations copy pasted on it? No. That's a lie. There's no way. I would have been fine if they were to just keep doing the Lost Sector thing, but add more Lost Sectors if they were going to go that route. But they only added one. Like, what? And Solstice, most likely, like I said, just what I said. Same thing, where it's just same stuff, one new weapon. Um, And they even said, like, for the, the hidden exotic missions, if you remember, with Whisper of the Worm, they said the microtransaction skins to the whisper of the worm which were there two of them and they were like six dollars each would fund for the next uh secret event which was the uh out outbreak perfected uh, the uh, zero hour so if two skins funded for that alone what are we doing where are the, what where's the money <laughs> it's just i i just it's like they're holding on to the money more than using it. I I, I just I, I don't I don't get it. I don't feel the return value. I don't. And if they can't make content, you don't make it super expensive. You don't make microtransactions so pricey then. If you can't make up to the the return value that we expect. That but that, that's just but they don't do that. It's it's <laughs> it's not that's not what they do. It's money! It just sucks. Like, how I think seasons should be is that there is a story. Maybe there's, like, a exclusive mode to play. But there is a brand new PvP map, one new Gambit map, and one Strike. Brand new. Added to the core playlist in the season as well. On top of whatever that we're getting, which in this case would be a dungeon for this season, and next season would be a, a reprised raid. But we don't have that. We don't even have that. Like, PvP has only gotten one new map in, what, 400 days or something like that? It was Disjunction, and it's not that good. I thought it was going to be good when I first started playing it, but then once people started to learn the map more and it just became copy-paste of the experience, it's, yeah, it's poorly made. Um, and Gambit has gotten nothing. We've only lost stuff. And the strikes, somewhat. I mean, we got a new strike from Lightfall, but... Yay. But it's just, yeah. Very, very bad. Uh, the video game part. Like, video games are, well, video games. You play them. And the playing part for Destiny is just, it's not it. You play Trials, and yeah, there's a new weapon, but you're playing on a map that's been around since five years ago. Why would you be excited to get on to play on that map? I don't get it. You, it, it's been five years on that. Um, and then, same thing with anything else. Oh, there's new weapons. There's to grind for in the core playlist. Uh, Gambit. Go play the same Gambit experience though. The same maps. Even if Gambit is in a poor state, having new maps would be nice. Just anything. Like, but no. No. I, 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 I really, like, that's where I'm at. It's not even going into more in depth of other areas where just how the grind is, which I can go into that too, or um, how I feel about the end game or whatever. Uh, like, just, just the gameplay part. I was more enjoying Destiny 2 when Forsaken came out because there was so much being thrown at us. And it feels like we'll never get that experience ever again. And I just... Why? Why, though? Like, I feel like that that, that should be something to strive for. 
at least once every two years. I wasn't expecting it after Forsaken that the next expansion was going to be large as Forsaken, but maybe the one after, and it hasn't been like that. Forsaken brought us so much. I'm going to fall. Yep, I fail. Uh, so much content. We got brand new PvP maps. We got a brand new mode to the core playlist, which was Gambit. We got new strikes. We got a huge story. Two patrol zones. A raid. And a dungeon. Like, whoa. And obviously the, the overhaul to, to like the special weapons and stuff like that. Like, it's just, wow. I miss those days. Like, that's... That's what I wish Destiny 2 would be like, at least once every two years. And that's what I want Final Shape to be. Or after Final Shape, if they whatever that they decide to do for the next saga. A lot of people have been screaming for a Destiny 3. I've always said that I, I genuinely would be fine with the Destiny 3 if it meant that they would push big changes. And I mean new content large amounts into the core playlist like i that's that's where i'm at um but i yeah i don't know uh i i i, I really just i still want to have hope i still have faith in bungie but there's been a lot to really diminish that that hope and faith and i know that a lot of you feel the same like that's kind of where i'm at uh, final shape, I still have hope. I know that I'm still going to be excited, and that's the other thing. I'm still going to be playing Destiny. I'm still going to share content for all of you because there are things that I do enjoy, but there are a lot of things I don't, and I can't play the game nonstop. I just can't, so that's why I take breaks. I've done that all the time. Whenever there's a point in time where Destiny is just in a poor state, I take a break. But I'm always going to give criticism because I want Destiny to succeed. So if you're one of those that are just like, just quit the game. Just shut up. Stop talking about it. Stop. I still want to give feedback. But that's the thing that it sucks is what Bungie said that engagement is engagement. So me even talking about it in a negative way, that's good for them. It's just, wow. Why? It's just, no. No, no, no. But... What does it mean for me? I know that a lot of you are probably going to ask, well, well what, what's going on then for you? Well, I'm not quitting, like I said. I'm not quitting Destiny. Um, I'm not going to stop making content. I still enjoy making content. And I'm not um, going to lose a lot of faith for future stuff. Like, I'm going to be super excited about next season. Um, I'm going to be super excited about Final Shape. I'll be sharing that positivity and fun through and through um but i there are things that in in the back end of all that positivity where i'm just disappointed but i do genuinely still have fun doing the most what you would call why are you doing this stuff like this doing strikes just playing make a build go into the strike playlist and have fun and that's that's where I'm at. Like, that's how I've treated Destiny f since Destiny 1. I mean, when Destiny 2 was in a bad state, um, when it released, I was doing the strike playlist. And people would come in my chat and be like, why are you doing that? And well, because I was having fun. Like, I was just, I was just having fun doing strikes. Video game. But a lot of the video game part, just, it's not there. Uh, like the story missions that we we had to go through were were not fun. Like you don't go through the story for the new season to be like, wow, this is gonna be super fun. This mission's gonna be so fun, enjoyable, uh, great to, to. I'm gonna remember it always because of the the gameplay part. No, most of the time it's reused asset areas or reusing the the basic um, battlegrounds thing, and then you move on to see characters stand there and talk and tell you uh see you next week ow <laughs> and it hits you like that like a cabal ball so that that's it like i'm not i'm not quitting i do genuinely hope that you also give the variety content a try 
I, I have a lot of fun with other games, and I am here for you. All of you. Um, like, this, this channel is... Even if I... I'm not here to become famous through, like, the, the content. Like, the, the content that I'm making is hopefully making a difference for all of you. Making your day better. Helping you laugh. You know, smile through the content. That's That's been my goal since I started way back in, like, 2007. So, that still stands. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos... Still Destiny content. I would say probably every day at least one Destiny video. If I do skip a day on a Destiny video, well, that happens. Um, but it's there's still going to be Destiny content. Still going to do things in Destiny. So don't worry about that. If you strictly watch the channel for the Destiny content, uh, don't worry. I'm not ignoring you. Um, so, yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> Gosh darn chair. So, um, bottom line, I want to know your thoughts. Like, how are you feeling? And and if if you are genuinely taking a break from Destiny, what are you playing? What games are you playing? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, what what you been doing? What games? Um, because maybe I'll uh, upload that that stuff on this channel if I haven't already. So we'll we'll see. Regardless. I hope you, I hope you have a chibi-tastic day, night, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Chibi out.